Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents, ladies and gentlemen, got a little bit of Al Green in our background. Al, could you go ahead and let them know? You make me seem not good. Ladies and gentlemen, got some news for you. This is the PDF section that everybody literally has been asking about. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sorry that it's taken us almost two years to get this back up. Okay? However, it's back up. This is the page you're going to see. It's right under our current PDFs. Okay? All you got to do is click on that. And I'm just going to got to turn my little backlight on for the keyboard. B-A-N-K. Sorry, it took two days. Literally almost 48 hours to get this up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I want you to watch before my internet wasn't connected but when you type in a word this looks like it's google right it is google it's a google search engine the only problem is this is searching our website this is not searching the internet okay this is restricted to our website for now we're going to leave it that way because we took the time to put all the documents on the site this way as we told you guys when you come to the site, not only you're going to have the ability of searching the PDF section for what you want, now you can definitely scroll down and look through everything if you want. That's going to take you forever. But if you know what you're looking for, like let's say, watch this. I, I know y'all going to appreciate this. The new word for 2021 is trust. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we want all of y'all, every single one of y'all, your grandmamas, your grandpapas, everybody doing trust. We want you to have trust for your children. We want you to have trust for your cause. We want you to have trust for everything. Look at that. It ain't even going there. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, is the internet. Uh-oh, I messed up. I did that. T-R-U-S-T. I hit another button. I shouldn't have hit it. I should have waited for this to come up. Private Trust Corp. Uh, Notary Republic Handbook. DTC. Important Notice. I want y'all to know that the documents are in there, but there is one particular document on trust. I want y'all to pay attention to what I'm about to do right now, okay? We're going to get rid of that, and we're going to say T-R-U-S-T-D-O-C-U-M-E-N-T. I'm going to say trust. I should have said trust documents, and I didn't do that. If I had said trust documents, the folder for trust documents would have came up. Okay, this is all the documents that's in the trust document, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you. You got four different sections. This one will probably be empty yet. It, usually the fourth one is empty because it's just too many. Now, you know what? I just realized that there is no back arrow. Okay, there is no back arrow. And where is it taking us? Yeah, see, it's taking us to Google. I don't want to go to Google, but that's how you guys will get to Google is by clicking on that search. You say search on Google. Nobody wants to search on Google. Nobody wants to go to Google. I don't want to go to Google. No, y'all don't want to go to Google. We can go back to the web and let's see if I can. I'm, I'm going to see if I can do something. Uh, nope, that didn't work. Let's see the back arrow. Nope, can't go backwards. So you got to go there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you the trust document folder. You're going to go all the way down to trust documents there it is right there that's a folder i want y'all to pay attention to how many documents are in this folder if you want to know about trust law if you want to know about trust if you want to know about establishing trust that's this section right here that's what this talks about all of these documents are referred to in here sample templates everything here so you can do your own trust okay now our trust is just a little bit different because it includes several elements OK, our trusts are a little bit different because we back them by securities. We have individuals invest in our trust. We create instruments out of our trust. We can't tell you how to do it. We can't teach you how to do it. That's not what we do. But we do provide you a security. OK, but I promise you, 2021 is going to be the year of trust. They collapsed the system, put everything in the trust, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I did have a document in here. It was a document that a young man had sent me regarding a trust that he created based upon information that he had gathered from me. I thought it was good enough for me to put up here for you guys. But, ladies and gentlemen, I can't do that because he had his signature and everything. And it didn't have any personal information in it, just his signature. And because he had a signature on it, I couldn't do that. Now, 
many of the documents people are going to say well no that man that's my document I, and that's copywritten ladies and gentlemen as we explain on our site you cannot copyright case law you cannot copyright constitutional amendments you cannot copyright uh, excuse me statutory law you can't copyright it why because it's public you cannot copyright public information that's the same as the government cannot patent water they cannot patent the air that's why drugs they get a patent on drugs because of a chemical composition they add something that isn't natural in nature it doesn't appear that way in nature and because it doesn't appear that way in nature they can patent it that's why all you'll see all these little different statin drugs that they're giving people saying that they're going to help relieve pain all they do is just add this or that to it now it becomes theirs and so they can patent it so you cannot patent case law you cannot copyright case law you cannot copyright statute you cannot copyright constitutional amendment once you add that to your document then it is no longer copywritten i should not have to explain that to people but the courts will explain that to everyone okay we do not take other people's information, like I said, the gentleman had his signature on it. I would not have posted that up because that's his signature. It doesn't matter anything else. I could have blocked out his signature, but I chose not to do that. I just chose to say that this is more than enough information for someone on trust. Well, let's say you don't just want a new trust. Let's say you want to do credit or credit repair. We have a whole credit section here. All the forms that you can go through, look through and search okay that the documents are here so all you got to do is search for what you want and you see how it organizes everything policy document ucc exemption now i don't know who this is but this is what i this is the information that's here ladies and gentlemen this information has been up on our site for years it's just we'll be adding more I can guarantee you we'll be adding more documents to this section, so continue to check back. What I want you all to understand is we did this for you. Didn't do this for us. This site, this is free. This doesn't bring us any monies. We're not looking for visitors. You don't hear us, well, we had 100 visitors last month. We need to get 85 billion. This is not one of those sites where you have to pay to get the documents. Go ahead and look at all the other sites where you have to pay to get these very same documents that you find here on our site. This is my girl Jennifer Holiday, y'all. And she's talking about how she's loved. And I love this woman. I shows do love this woman because this woman can sing. Ever since I heard her sing her song, listen to her. I'm trying desperately to be understood. She ain't never been shy a day in her life. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for allowing me. I like Jennifer a lot. And those of you who know me, you know this, my girl. Um, and I wish her all the best. Ladies and gentlemen, this was for you all. Look, when you go here, you'll see that the information that you're going to find, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be explaining to you what equity is, what security is, but how we will design the security for you, how we will put together the package for you, how we will do the things on the back end to make the package worth what it's supposed to be worth. So, see, you cannot design everything yourself. You, you can't, because there's some aspects of this are not here. Some aspects of this you're not going to readily find on the internet. Some aspects of this we are going to do in the background not going to do it out in the open for the rest of you because too many people have taken what we're doing and they're trying to mimic it ladies and gentlemen eventually i will take care of this it's just a little too large and so it won't all fit so i just have to decrease the size of this block that's simple i just don't feel like doing it tonight i am tired it is 902 i've been at this since seven o'clock this morning literally non-stop I have been running this computer, like I said on the last video, this has been nonstop. I did take two hours today to have our meeting 
as an organization. What we want to let you guys know, there have been several individuals who were manning and handling some email addresses that were associated with SACCOM. We are now checking those emails. We were unaware that they had not been checked. Some people have been complaining that they have been writing us. Ladies and gentlemen, they've been writing the wrong emails. We have on the site, we have letters that we send out to people telling them which emails they're supposed to be communicating with. These individuals haven't been doing this. And because they haven't been doing that, they haven't been receiving responses. Okay, but we're going to accept responsibility for that because when they wrote those email addresses, they should have received a response from those email addresses. I did not know. As a matter of fact, I just found out today that a particular email address was being utilized. Well, those are emails that I'm supposed to be handling. I didn't know the email address existed. We have over 300 emails that are permanent. The original SAP packers all received their own personal email. Now, that email is to be utilized in the future. That's why they don't get a password or anything for it. Okay, it's to be utilized for other purposes. We are working on providing you guys with what you need. Everybody has the wrong idea of a security. You know, a security does not mature in two years. It does not mature in three years. People are writing us, well, it's been a year and something should have happened by now. Well, for many of you, you have received many things by now. The tax credits I should, I wanted to have been working on it the month of July. I cannot work on it the month of July because I got to finish the contracts the month of July. So I won't let anything else interfere with the tax credits. Okay. Now, we're going to be doing a video bringing in more people in the SACCOM. We're going to be letting you guys know that we're looking for other individuals to help us out here at SACCOM. We will talk about the subcontracting employment opportunities. You guys will be hearing it here. And I know I don't think we're going to be posting anything on the site. Okay. I, I doubt that very seriously that we'll be posting anything on the site. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, rhythm of the night. The barge, everybody. Been playing them all day. I added them to the uh, playlist. Ladies and gentlemen, the programs, the new programs, as we said in the last video, will be beginning next month. What you're going to find is if you do need to get in touch with SACCOM, some people have been emailing me personally. You don't know how much energy it takes for me not to tell you where you can go. I told you, you do not contact me regarding SACCOM. You want to contact SACCOM, yes, I'm the CEO of SACCOM, but you will contact SACCOM through this portal here. And if you try contacting me, then I will block you from contacting SACCOM or contacting me. I don't have time for that. Okay, you wanted to get my attention. You got my attention. You won't be getting it no more if you continue to ignore policy. Just It really is just that simple. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care, period. I don't have time for it. Look, I tell many of you that a lot of you are waiting until the last minute. Now, I don't mind doing consults at the last minute. I have no problem with that. You pay for a consult, you'll get the information no matter what. But because you wait till the last minute and then you want to get a consult at the last minute, what's going to happen is I won't be able to give you all of your remedies. Okay? The easiest way to stop a foreclosure is to do a QWR and combine it with the 609 letter. I've already done the video. All you got to do is go to the Eon channel and type in 609, and you'll pull up the video. As a matter of fact, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I did you all a favor, a favor. You know, I did that. Watch this. Uh, I think, no, we want to go to the channel. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, your channel. That's where we want to go. Come on now. Come on now. Go to channel. Chase the channel, mama. Okay, we're going to go to the channel, y'all. Hey, uh, just real quick. There was an idiot. And he, he was an idiot. He told me in a response that I was acting too childish on my videos. Well, look here, you ignorant mother. Son of a... <clears throat> anyway... If you think I'm acting too childish, then why are you here? Shouldn't you take your someplace else? 
you don't tell me how to do my videos on my channel. This is my channel. Even if none of you individuals showed up, I'd still be doing this for myself. Did you, did you, did you hear that, y'all? Ladies. Okay. When you go to the channel, the first thing that comes up is the 609 information. I did that to help you all. Pay attention, people. I got to change that. Uh, see, this is an old video, so this information is here. I got to change that to the current information because I told you guys I have reached my mark, and the consults have helped a lot. So thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I put this video here purposely so that it's the first thing that comes up, 609. Okay, that first thing that you guys get to talk about. But wait, I want you to understand something about 609. 609. The morning light. Oh, baby. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this was just done in March, right after I was no longer in that facility. Okay? Now, that's only 30 minutes. That don't take much at all, does it? But we put in 609 and look at all the videos about set-offs. Okay? Pay off debt with a closed account. Now, I, look, I'm not advocating that. Okay? There, there are other ways that you don't have to go through the headache. Okay? But, yes, you can still use a closed checking account because a closed account is always going to mean a closed account. They have not changed it. The law has not changed. Why? Because a closed account is a common law thing. Okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I put the video up about the getting people out of jail. As a matter of fact, I was on the Mac earlier, and there is actually a folder in there about getting out of jail. And it's only two documents in there. One of them is the GSA forms. I just did a video showing you guys about the GSA forms. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what else to do for you all, because guess what? I continue to show you guys everything. Look at all these videos. Look, hold on. The in-house legal professional guide to blah, blah, blah. Then this one right here is showing you the age of majority information. Okay. Every video is showing you something, showing you documentation, showing you where you need to go. And I can tell you where you need to go. Okay. All right. I know that I have set an example. I know that I have set a standard because other people, I'm looking at their videos and they're doing the same thing. Then there's a lot of people, including that Christensen guy out of England who claims to be a postmaster general who shows you nothing. He keeps talking and shows people nothing. And I'm not talking against him or about him. He has information, but he's not showing the people what he's talking about. He's referring to it enough stop talking people start explaining the people so that they will stop coming to me asking me to explain i don't care about the people on the internet getting upset with me because everybody should be showing you what they're talking about if they're going to talk about the law if they're going to talk about the system show it to you i just did a video earlier today showing you guys about the vaccine thing now you notice i didn't say vaccines were good i didn't say they were bad that's not my job to give you my opinion because it would be my opinion if I told you they were good or bad, because I don't know, okay? I know what I can tell you, and I can tell you this for a fact. This is not the pandemic I saw. This is not it. This wasn't even close, okay? You saw that stuff over in uh, India? Okay, imagine that 10 times worse, where bodies are being piled up in the middle of the street because they don't have enough spaces to bury them or enough places to take them and cremate them that's what i saw what i saw is nobody on the streets i mean it was like a desert and i happened to be the one out there walking and traveling why because i care about people and i'm interested in their pain not interested to see them go through pain but i'm interested in their pain Nobody should have to suffer. Not a single person on this planet should have to suffer. But that's all that happens on this planet is people suffer. Isn't it enough? Haven't you all had enough of suffering? So if you got a debt, ladies and gentlemen, 
if you've been straddled with debt and you want to get out of debt, I had a conversation, a consult with a young lady yesterday and she was telling me that was her biggest issue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do yourselves a favor. Go here to the PDF section and put in, well, I'm not even, we're not even going to do the search bar. We're not going to do the search bar. We're going to, my, my computer's moving a little slow. So give it a second for this one to pull up because there it is. We're going to go down to credit. There's a folder. Uh Oh, must've gone too far. Oh, look at that. He's always going too far. Okay. Come on now. We're going to go down to C. Oh, stop it. Didn't ask you to go down there. Okay. We're almost there. So we didn't go too far. Credit repair letter. We don't want the letter. I don't want credit repair. I thought it was under credit, but it's not. So it's going to be under debt. And the reason how I know is you see that right. No. Th yeah, that's, that's a letter. No, sorry. I didn't want the letter. I want debt. Understanding is what I need. What she needs. Somebody give that woman some understanding. I don't see my debt letter. Hmm. Let's go to download it. Uh, no. There is a debt folder, and I know it's a debt folder. Discharge debt. Yeah. OID. And I'm not asking any of you guys to do the OID because you don't have the numbers. And I don't know why y'all do what y'all do. This is Al Green, y'all. And he, he going to dedicate this song, y'all. Wait, you know what I mean? This is Take Me to the River. It's the same rhythm as I... I don't know why you do me like you do. See, I told you. Tell me now. After all the changes you put me through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking... Like I said, there's a lot of stuff about banks, but I want credit. Won't you tell me? Hey, child support fraud. There's a whole section on child support. Ladies and gentlemen, our credit um, corrections department, we will be starting that back up. There are a couple of you that we were helping that I haven't forgotten about, and I want you to know you'll be hearing from me soon. Okay? But we have a credit section. There is a credit folder because I put it together. I just don't know what it's named anymore. So, But I do want to let you know, if you're looking to help correct your credit and help get rid of debt, it's here. You just saw all the things that we just talked about just dealing with credit. Look at that. Credit repair. Just just right there. The, the letters that you need. 609 letters. Everything we put here, okay? Debt validation. Demand letter. Okay, but go watch the video while you're doing the letters and you'll see what you need to add to your letters and just send it out. You don't need to pay anybody for this. It's all right here. That's what we're trying to tell you when we say start your own project. You don't need to pay anybody for this. It's just the other things, the other aspects. Then, yeah, you pay us for that service. But just doing the document, anybody can do a document. Now, if you want to do it right, we put all the information here on our site so you can do the research. Let's go to the home page for a second. I want to show you all something. Yeah, we took care of the issues and I've taken care of most of the spelling issues. OK, yeah, because we are on the move. It's time to move forward. It's, it's time to stop talking about what they did to us, how they deleted all of our files, how they messed with our website. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't like we paid somebody to do our website. I didn't like it. I thought it was too dull. It wasn't what I wanted. I told them what I was looking for for our site. And this is what I was looking for. What you see right here. Okay. I wanted movement. I wanted color. I didn't want flashiness. But I, I wanted the people when they come here to be able to have an experience. And we'll update the pictures so that you'll have something different every single time. But you will get an experience. You will be able to come here and read and see what you need to see. Okay? Setting priorities correctly. See here at SACOM, the SACOM organization, it is our duty to take on 70% of the risk, which we do. That's our job. We take on 70% of the risk. 
which is why we make sure that the services you pay for, we give you back what you're paying for based on the current market. So everybody's talking about 98 series numbers. 98 series numbers, it's not just having a 98 series number. Anybody can get a 98 series number. Well, technically, you got to know what to say in order to get one these days because so many people were doing it and putting videos out that the IRS came up with new policies. But having somebody assign, associate, give you tax credits, that's a different story. That doesn't happen every day. And their own tax credits, which guess what they did? They made sure they were legitimate first. We put information on our website about tax credits because I did the video and I showed you the document from the treasury where a lot of people are misapplying tax credits, saying that they have tax credits when they don't. And they're cracking, on, cracking down on that. So we are signing it to you. You didn't ask for that. You didn't pay for that. That's what we're giving you. And again, as we state on our website, as we provide proof, ladies and gentlemen, when you see, I want you all to pay attention to these little highlights, okay? All of those links work. Click on the link and go and read the information in the link, okay? Performance agreement. All this does is explain to you what a performance agreement is. Even though we just talked about it here, we let you go and read it for yourself on the internet so that you can see what's being said. You can see what the law says. You can see what it tells you, okay? Charge-offs and carry-forward credits. How do they work? It said, please visit the following link for more information on charge-offs and carry-forward credits. Why? Because who else, I want you all to do me a favor. Who else was talking about charge-off and carry-forward credits before you heard me talking about it? Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, what is loss carry forward? Hey, young lady, watch this. Hold on. Then, then I'm going to end this video because we're we going to kick it with escape. Because just kick it. Uh-oh. Sorry, I don't want the whole thing. I just want this section right here. Uh, control C. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here. No, I don't want a new one, though. Yeah, we can get rid of that junk. I don't even know what that was. No, we don't want that. That's another. Well, we can go. No, I don't want this either. Where's that window I had open? Oh, they're all studios, huh? This is for the, the, the real who? They, this for the who? Oh, no, they ain't saying that, huh? Well, no, I can't play that anymore. I, I promised myself I wouldn't do that no more. I, I know the song and I know what they're saying because I know the song. But usually the ones I play, uh -uh, and they don't play that. Hey, this is L-O-V-E, love, okay? This is him singing to God, y'all. This is Al Green, the one who wants to be called a reverend, mother. L ladies and gentlemen, let me, let me make sure y'all understand. The Lord Jesus, the true Christ, said that nobody was to refer to themselves in such a way. He made it quite clear, Matthew's the 20, second chapter. He said, don't do it. So I don't know where these reverends, deacons, where these, uh, what what these other fools called? Fathers, you heard what I said, fools. Because he said, don't do it. A fool is somebody who doesn't listen. Don't believe me, go and take a look at the definition. He told them not to do it. And these are the same people who are claiming that they serve in him. He said, don't do it, and they do it anyway. Okay, that's a fool. A fool is somebody who doesn't listen. And here, yet, uh-oh, wait a minute. I didn't want this. I, I, I know I just pushed it in there. So my, my computer won't let me do what I want to do. It's going to do what it want to do. Hey, you can always depend on me. The Pentagon, to, Hey, that's my you know, boy. You know, there's, there's that, 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 that's Mr. Tom the Hartman. First, uh, the first is... Hey Tom, I gotta let you go because I gotta I gotta go to this section right here. Removing charge off from credit reports. Now, I, hey, he says step by step. Okay. Seven months ago though. Eight months ago. What does charge off mean on my credit report? 
how to remove. I said charge offs and carry forwards. Okay, because I'm telling you what a charge off leads to. Okay, but everybody else want to talk about how to remove. I'm not I'm not interested in removing. You guys need to understand what a charge off is. When a company charges something off of your credit report, they receive a credit. That's why you have to pay the taxes. I wish people would listen, but nobody's listening. Okay? You don't pay a charge off, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they send you a 1099. It's already been paid. I know the young lady said she paid off her charge off, but you don't understand. It's a charge off. The government credited her account. It's counted as income for you because you paid it off. They discharged it and it's a income for you. So you have to pay the taxes on it. So I need you to understand if you got to pay the taxes, that means it's paid. You're paying the taxes on it. It's income to you. You receive the benefit from it. The bank received the benefit. You ain't supposed to be paying that off. We're going to leave Jagged Edge alone for a minute. Okay? And we are going to go ahead and get ready to close on down here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, nobody's talking about the charge off and carry forward relationship. Okay, I am. You don't hear me talking about how to remove a charge off. Go go look at any of my videos. I don't want to say nothing about how to remove no stupid charge off off your credit. A charge off is what happens six months after you set up there and send out some debt collection letter. Well, if, if it's a charge off six months after you send the debt collection letter, I, these are the movies I was transforming, but they ain't nothing. I ain't got nothing else on here I want to transform. I mean, I, I the Falcon, the Falcon, where that at? The Falcon and the Canary, the Falcon and the White Soldier. Okay, let me tell you something. I like that jump. That jump was all right. Okay, it was all right. It was short, but it was all right. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I like the way you comb your hair. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we put the information up there on the site, which is why so many people were stressing about access to the PDF section. We put the information up there for you. That information is not for us. It doesn't benefit me to have that information up there. I'm, I'm not making any monies off of it. It's only causing more stress because people keep asking about the documents. It's a courtesy we provide to all of you at no charge. We wanted to give you a central place to find documents. That's why we had people donating documents. Okay? One young lady did us a great favor by donating it to us twice. When they deleted it, she donated a bunch of documents, over four gigabytes worth of documents. We had over 40 gigabytes of documents on our site, and they <sighs> deleted the entire site. Not joking. That's If you guys will go back to my old videos... I'll guarantee you one thing that you will notice. Wait, got to go back to the PDF section. One thing you will notice is that we already had a PDF section that looks similar to this. All right, it took me two hours to get this back like this today. Go back and look at the video. You'll see it was a whole lot worse, and I told you I'd correct it. it took me two hours. Why? Because I forgot what I did the last time to get it the way it was the last time. Okay. And there is a video, by the way. You see where this says watch video? There was a video that was supposed to be playing in the background, but I didn't want it. So eventually I will get rid of this watch video. But right now, it's all right. It's going to stay the way it is. The picture is going to stay the way it is. And the map is just here for austerity. Okay. You, you find your place. Hey, do, do your trivia. Okay, because right now, ladies and gentlemen, nobody should be writing this address. What I mean by nobody should be writing this address, this address is for certain information only. Now, you can take a chance on writing it. It'll go into the file 13. Yeah, that's the type of control I have. This is a virtual mailbox. Okay, so I will... 
because I have to pay for every single envelope I scan, make sure you understand, I will file 13 it if the person is just sending junk. Okay, and then I will put you on the block list for the, the particular facility. That address right there for right now is not for you all. That address is for something else. So please do not write this address. I know, I know, I know. There are a lot of people who don't know how to listen. We just talked about that earlier. That's why I'm saying it, because I know some of you are not going to listen. Hey, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Maya Wes. And, oh, yes, y'all know I know about Maya Wes and Artisibo. Sorry about your solar dish. That thing was ready to go anyway, wasn't it? And we ain't going to talk about Dominicano, okay? We're not even going to say much about Dominicano. And Miss, Miss Mr. Haiti, y'all know what we're talking about. And Cuba, Cuba, okay? Cuba, not Cuba. Cuba, please. Cuba, okay? Like Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba, I got you. My people's right up in here, okay? Got a lot of respect for them peoples. And we ain't going to talk about them Bermudas, you know, because I, 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 you know, Belize, Bermuda, all of that, I ain't been around there. But I would definitely love to have traveled there. Jamaica, uh, me and Jamaica, we ain't got much to talk about because I, Jamaica, a nice little island, but sorry, the people are people. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please note that the information contained on this, in this section is not for service of process. Please inquire as to the correct means for service of process. Terms and conditions apply. You visit the SATCOM website, you're automatically agreeing to the arbitration clause. Now, please understand, I know, I know, I know you think that you're not agreeing to the arbitration clause. I know you think that you can get around the arbitration clause and you can't because the arbitration clause is like every other website. If you're visiting this site, then you agree to the arbitration clause. Now, guess what? The arbitration clause doesn't hurt you. It doesn't put you in a position where you have to do this or you have to do that. The arbitration clause affects you in no way. The arbitration clause is to protect the organization and to protect you from each other. So that we don't say you did something you didn't do and you don't say we did something that you were trying to force us to do that we didn't do. You know what I mean, Vern? Like the government. Now, look, I just told somebody something today. Sorry, I want to tell you guys something. Um, I want you guys to see this because you you all need to see this. And I just had this conversation with my peoples over at uh, SAA. Uh, T-R- Remember, this is the year of trust. Don't want trust document. We're going to do trust A G R. Okay, now you see this right here, trust agreement, trust agreement definition. I want y'all to pay attention to this because y'all need to understand this because many of you guys have not thought of this because you didn't know. So I'm going to explain it to you because this was just a conversation because I've known this this whole time. Trust agreement is a document that allows you, the trustor, to legally transfer the ownership of specific assets to another person, the trustee, to be held and uh, trust doors, uh, for the trustor's beneficiaries. That's what a trust agreement is. Okay. Now, wait. Hold on now. Hold on. Watch this. I put in there a secret trust agreement. You guys have heard of those. Those trust agreements that government has set up that you don't know about, that you were not a party to, that you never were notified of. A secret trust is the type of trust in which property is devised to a person in a will document. Thus, upon the property owner's death, the property is supposed to be held by the trustee until the formally, it is formally transferred to the beneficiary. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pay attention to something so that you understand. There is no such thing as a secret trust. There's no such thing as a secret trust. Remember, it's an agreement. A trust is an agreement. You cannot have a trust that is not an agreement. Okay, that's why you saw me put, in English law, secret trusts are a class of trust defined as an agreement. 
I did, I did not look this up, people. All I know is what I know. A trust will always be an agreement. The grantor cannot force a trustee to do anything. The trustee has to agree. How does the trustee agree? By compliance, by performance. So there is no such thing as a secret trust, people. Pay attention. I didn't write this. In English law, secret trusts are a class of trusts defined as an agreement, or excuse me, an arrangement between a trustor and a trustee. May to come into force after death. You, you can't have a trust without there being an agreement. You cannot have a trust without there being an agreement. There has to be a meeting of the minds. Now, mind you, an agreement, the parties must have notice and knowledge of. You cannot have an agreement without the other person having knowledge. There's no such thing as a secret agreement where the parties don't know the agreement exists. Not my fault. I've known this. You cannot have a secret agreement. Impossible. because. The right to contract is the right to contract in every contract. The principle says the parties must have knowledge of the agreement, that it must be voluntary. Well, how can it be voluntary if the party doesn't know that it exists? That's fraud, people. So there is no such thing as a secret trust. That's why there's always an agreement. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry, I, 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 I went ahead of myself and I shouldn't have done that. I apologize to y'all. I, I, I said something well in advance and I, I, I shouldn't have. Hold on. I, 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 saw, I, I, saw, I saw myself saying, <sighs> sorry. Uh oh, I, I spelled that wrong. I apologize. Let let let's get on over here. Get on, boy. Oh, oh sorry. Sha la 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 la. Makes me so happy. <laughs> Sha la 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 la. This is this is Al Green. He just won't die, huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to pause y'all because it's taking too long. Oh, see the moment. See, that's what I said. It was talking too long. It said it, it closed the connection because it was taking too long. So come on now. In my bones, hey, baby. Give me a second. Let me find that. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have a little bit of a uh, negative in the background. And we're dealing with arrangement. Now, there's a regular basic definition, an action, a process, or a result from arranging or being arranged, or plans or preparation for a future event. Okay. Not... An act of putting things in order. No, we're not talking about that type of arrangement. We're talking about two people coming together and uh, making an arrangement. They're coming to an arrangement. It's called a well. I got a, I got another word for you. Let's let's do this. E. We're gonna do equitable arrangement. Why? Because that's what a trust is. See, a trust is based on equity. If you don't believe me, that's why. Uh, what's the type? What's that court? Probate court handles equity. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I am very tired. If you hear me catching myself, that's because I am on fumes and I'm about to bring this to an end. So uh, let me pause y'all. Let it catch up with me. All right. I had this open. This is the back end. I got this feeling and I just can't turn it loose. <sighs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I got to find that section that says video. Watch video. So I got to get rid of that. So hold on. Got to do my control C. Oh, got to do that first. Control F. Sorry. And then we got to put V I D E O. Uh, you know what? I just can't lose my cool. Cool. 
Your friends keep telling me about the things that's going on. on I'm looking, I'm waiting for the one that says watch. And these all say video. Oh, there it is right there. We're just going to put. I'm just going to put days gone by. Hey, baby. Uh-oh. And then I got to put that. Uh-oh. I can't do that either. You know just what I mean. Whoa, 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 whoa. I come home early. I got to correct something. Wait, give me a second. I got to copy. I don't think it liked what I did. Copy. I did something wrong, and that's because I'm tired. And that's what happens when I'm tired. When I walk, oh, I see what I did. You see that uh, that arrow heading forward? V. Okay, see, I took this out, and I shouldn't have, because didn't like that. So I'm gonna do that right there, and it say this program is called Moby Rise. See, days gone by, no longer video. That right there, I ain't worried about. What did you hear him do? Call out his name. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. Now I just need to do that right there and it's saved. It's not on the internet yet. Not until I put it on the internet. Okay. The definition of equitable. I don't want the definition of equitable. I want equitable arrangement. Uh, it says when marital assets are split fairly in a divorce, this is an example of an equitable arrangement. Ladies and gentlemen, where an individual in a will say, I want this to go to homie over there. And I don't want nobody else to get it. That's an equitable arrangement. An equitable arrangement definition. An equitable arrangement meaning blah, blah, blah. Okay? Something that is equitable is fair and reasonable. But I didn't ask what equitable was. I said an equitable arrangement. You'll see that term is often used when individuals are conspiring together to accomplish something. Uh, such as you got two nations fighting against each other and then one of the men from the other nation look hey what do you want me to give you to you know mess stuff up for him so you guys win the war what you gonna give me that nah man that ain't enough I'm, I'm i'm doing too much over here i'm putting my i'm the only one taking the risk over here you see that's an equitable arrangement and everybody in their grandmama would disagree with that why because it's done in secret all the parties don't know what's going on However, there is still an agreement. You cannot have a trust without an agreement, people. I don't care what anybody say. It's impossible to have a trust without an agreement. You cannot have a secret trust. People say, well, trusts are private. Yes, they are private between two parties. You see, you can have three people in a room and it'd be a private gathering. You can have 100 people in a room and it'd be a private gathering. That because you have a bunch of people together doesn't make it public. It's still private. You can have a private organization, a private corporation. This happens all the time. Uh, NXS? Uh, no, that, that's y'all again. I, I, I listened to him. No, we, we already did that. That song by Prince. Uh, he wrote that song. This is my song, y'all. This is what I say to everybody and the grandmama. I asked them to just give it to me. Just give me a reason. We're going to let Luther take us on out of here, y'all. Luther is saying, give him a reason. I'm saying, give me a reason to get off of this microphone tonight. It's 49 minutes almost. And I'm too tired. I can't tell if that's a nine or a three. And I got to wait another 50 seconds. I ain't waiting another 50 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents. Thank you for letting me bring in this video. Talking to you about the SACOM website being up. And to talk to you about the information on the site. And letting you know that I promise you this is going to be the year of trust. Everybody and their grandmother are going to be doing trust. Not now because I said it. But they're going to be doing it because they know that that's the safest and secure way to protect their estate, their assets, their property. <clears throat> that's the safest and secure way to protect their estate, their assets, their property. 
That's the safest and most secure way to protect their selves, their sales, their sales, their property, their property, their property, their houses, their houses, their cars, their homes, anything that they're using as collateral for a loan should be placed in a trust immediately. And that information, declaration of trust, filed on a public record. Don't say I ain't did nothing for y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. Declaration of trust is on our site as well. So all you got to do is go back here, get your little, oh, I got to bring that down because you can't see SACCOM search bar. It's too, uh, too low. So I got some work to do tomorrow and it will be tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, because even this is lower and I didn't move it. So it's the uh, web browser. That's the problem. All right. We're going to put D E. C L A R A T I O N Declaration. That's what I said. Shion. Y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about, my Latin people. All right. Come on. Over you. Tell him what you want him to do, Luther. He said, give him the reason. And that's what I tell people. Give me a reason. That's all I need is a reason. You ain't said nothing but a word. Do you know how to forgive and forget? Hey, those of you who don't know Luther, who don't appreciate Luther, you don't know Luther. This fool could sing. And I don't care if he was a backup singer at first. He stepped out on its own and, man. No! One to love. What what would you say, Lou? Oh, come on now. It didn't even search. I'm going to do it one more game, y'all. See if it's going to search. I'm going I'm to pause y'all for a second. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I did see that it's not up here. And I'm looking for declaration of trust. And so if you're going to do a declaration, you're going to need a declaration of trust. I'm positive a declaration of trust is here. Because, well, I did the video showing that you can pull up a declaration of trust template. You're going to need a declaration of trust template for your declaration of trust. I mean, for your trust. Remember, a declaration of trust and a trust are not the same thing. And that's where everybody's been making a mistake. And the courts have not been telling you. So if you have a document called a declaration of trust, separate it from your trust. Now, if you're like me, I put a declaration and a trust in the same document. But I document that. Okay, that's why I do it. But a lot of people are doing it, not knowing what they're doing and not knowing how they're not separating it by language. Over you, baby. Okay, so we have a declaration here, but just not uh, the declaration I was looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, I said I wasn't going to be up any longer, but I'm about to. This is Moby Rise. This is the thing that makes the website. I'm about to open it up and about to fix a couple of things because I saw some things I didn't like that never stop. Never, 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 never. Okay. There are a couple things I didn't like, like especially this right here. See, now this wasn't like this the first time, but I'm going to bring this down a little bit because it's too hot. Too, too hot. And what am I to do? My world is in the world. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Again, many of you waiting till the end of the video, this is where you're going to get the information. Many of you are about to lose your homes. They're about to kick you out of your homes. Take the home and put it in the trust. Take the home and put it in the trust. Take the home and put it in the trust. Do the research. That's what this section is for. That's why we put it up here. We put that up for, for you all. Take the home, put it in the trust. Okay? Do what we do. We have our arbitration clause in the trust. Go ahead and put your arbitration clause. Again, our arbitration clause, nobody's getting around that. That's why to this day, no court has ever said our arbitration clause was bogus. No court has ever said our arbitration clause was illegal. No court has ever said our arbitration clause was invalid. What they have said is the other party didn't have knowledge. Yeah, right. What they had said is the other party didn't agree. Yeah, right. Performance contract. But they ignored those aspects of a contract. And that's okay. That's why we're on appeal. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, 
Hantley or something like that, and Mr. Dang it, Mr. Hall, uh, Mr. Anthony, you two have tried to handle your own appeals and your arbitrations. I have pulled up the documents that you were trying to handle. I assure you, we're going to come in on the back end and try to help both of you, okay? Just be patient with us because we are getting ready to head that way. Yes, with all this other stuff that I'm doing, I had to be patient. That's why I haven't even taken care of my own stuff because I had to take care of this stuff first. But we are coming to help you all. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have a house, you're about to go into foreclosure, put your property in a trust. Remember, they have a lien on your home based on the loan, but it's only because, remember, the home was just used as, not as collateral. Pay attention. Your home was not collateral for a loan. You, you didn't own it. So how could you put the home up as collateral for a loan? You need to understand the law. You could not put the home up as collateral for the loan, which makes, pay attention, the process illegal. The bank could not accept the home as collateral for the loan because you didn't own the home. Pay attention. They could not have put the home up as, this is my girl. She's talking about she remembers, and her name is Miss Cole. Keisha Cole, that is. How could you pay attention, put your home up as collateral for a loan when the bank was loaning you the money to buy the home? So you can't put the home up for something you don't have. The bank couldn't give you the money until you got the home, which means neither of the two are possibilities. They're both impossibilities, which means it's an invalid agreement when you break it down, but again, not my argument for the court, yours. Take your property, put it in a trust, and then go and argue the fact that that is impossible for them to have given me a loan. I demand they prove that they were able to give me a loan and put my home up as collateral. This ain't about how much they loan me or what they loan me. No, this is about the fact that it's impossible for them to have had me put this property up as collateral. That's an illegal agreement because I didn't own the home to get the loan. I used the money, according to them, to buy the home. So if that's what I did, how could I put the home up as collateral? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just knocked something down because I leaned back and it could have caused a lot of damage. So let me stop. I'm, I'm tired. And I the information I just gave you should be enough to keep you all going for a long time i hope it works i hope you all pay attention i hope you stayed around with me and keisha at the end of this video because that's the way it's supposed to be i gotta go take care y'all selves okay goodbye